Hey everybody, thanks for joining me on the Outside with Jeff. Today I'm going to be planting these right here. You're probably wondering what the heck are those? Well, these are cherry trees. So a friend of mine at work, he has a Montemorsi or something like that. I might be pronouncing it wrong. Tart cherry tree. And it sends up suckers from the rootstock. And these are some of those suckers. So I'm going to plant one right behind me. And then when I'm done, I'm going to plant another one. But I'm going to show you uh, the planting of this one on video. So basically, he's dug them up. And he gave me a pretty good size root ball here. I'm just going to make a hole approximately that size. Maybe a little bit deeper. And I'm going to plant it. So I've selected this site. I used to have Bradford pear tree here years ago. Storm came in and knocked it over. As you're probably aware of, Bradford pears have a... Uh, horrible uh, rootstock strength. They just have no strength in whatsoever. So I'm just going to dig a hole right in here and uh, get this sucker planted. He likes to keep his trim to about, uh, he told me he has them right now about eight, nine foot tall. So they can be kept to a manageable size. And that's what I'm going to be doing as well. Uh, I'd, you, if you just let it go and you didn't trim it at all, they'd get 20, 25 foot tall. But I don't want to be hopping on a ladder to uh, to harvest these cherries. So this is a, a heavier clay soil here, but with it being on a slant, it does drain fairly well. Cherries like well draining soil, so that is important that it uh, drains fairly well. I'll also be uh, strawing these or mulching them during the winter time. I wanna make sure that, I dug that too deep. I wanna make sure that in the winter time that the roots don't freeze out. He's had his going for about 25 years so and he's given the he's given starts away to many many people from work and he's told me that he's been there like 30 some years I've only worked with him for six months and uh, but he knows how I like to garden and everything I told him about my YouTube channel so he knew that I'd be appreciative of one of these cherry tree starts he told me there's many people uh, there where we work who have been uh, picking cherries off the trees that he's given them over the years. So I'm really excited to get this tree in the ground. And he basically said you'll plant it and you're just going to kind of watch it grow for a couple years. And then in about three years, you will uh, you'll get cherries. So I've got it at the same depth as it was ground he gave me. I got the soil mounted up around it so as it settles in it uh, it'll fill those air gaps and then I'll come back off video here and I'll give it a good drink of water just to help uh, settle in that dirt and everything. I'm not going to give it any fertilization right now. Uh, I'll probably do a ring of fertilizer here in a few days but I don't want to do anything right now. That's all there is to it. So if you know someone who has a tart cherry tree, ask them if their cherry tree sends up suckers. They'll be all around the, the root stock. It'll just send up suckers from that root. And if they do, ask them if you can dig one up. Just don't dig too close. You'll see he went about eight inches all the way around it. You can dig them up and you can come plant it. And you can be picking cher cherries off that tree for generations and generations so well from my garden to yours have a great day and thanks for watching this video